Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Sapienza. And today we're going to take care of the error plane challenge. Yeah, you don't need to bring anything with you for this one. And then we're going to start in the Sapienza ruins. And essentially what I'm going to do is set up everything first. What we're aiming to do here basically is shoot down Silvio Caruso as he escapes in his aeroplane or his seaplane. So I love that cannonball right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up the stairs around to the left. And we want to come up to this cannon here, the one that's facing the lighthouse, I believe it is. It's way off there in the distance. And we're going to load this cannon with a cannonball and some gunpowder. There we go. Now I'm going to clear this whole area of guards. There's about six or seven, I believe, and a gardener. I'm going to take all of these guys out. We'll start with this guy over here. And once all these guys are out of the way, I'm going to take one of their outfits and hide the body. Although no one else comes over here, so we've got nothing to worry about. I just don't want all these guys in the bloody way when I come back. Come on, mate. Stick your head out. Come on. I ain't moving. Sucker. Right, that's them lot all down. I think there's a couple more to go. Two or three, I believe. I think I've got everyone else. There isn't that many over here. And they are pretty much grouped up together. There is that one guy who wanders off on his own, but we get him first, so he's not an issue. So I'm just going to grab some extra ammo there. Because I've never got enough. So, one. Two. Or oh, two. And another gardener. Right, so now that's this whole area clear of anyone. I'm going to take this guy's outfit. And we're going to hide his body. And dump him off the edge of the cliff. Now, when we get into the mansion area, I recommend changing your outfit into one of the housekeeper outfits. The ones who are dressed in black, basically. Uh, you'll you'll have much freer reign of the mansion area. I thought I'd be clever and I'd take one of these guys' outfits and I'd be free to just run around. But there, there's quite a lot of enforcers to this outfit, and the uh, the housekeeping outfit 
has far fewer enforcers. There is a camera there, you'll see. I get spotted a number of times by the cameras. But I'm not worried about a silent assassin rating. So I was going to go in the front here. But Caruso's beat me to it. And what we need to do now, basically, is once we're at the mansion here, is we need to trigger Silvio Caruso into escaping or evacuating. And the way to do that is to trick him into thinking his dead mother is still with us. So what we're going to do now, he's left. We're going to come into the ballroom, dining room area. And we're going to set off the gramophone. I should have waited for him to get a bit further away, really. But that's going to lure him in here and he's wondering what's going on. Then we're going to come through here and we're going to play with the stair lift. Now this is where it all starts going a bit wrong for me. Because suddenly there are enforcers absolutely everywhere. You know, I've been spotted, I'm suspicious. If that's a real word. So what we need to do now basically, once we've started up the stair lift, Crusoe will go investigate the gramophone then let go and investigate the stair lift and hopefully by then we're already upstairs and again another enforcer here and there's Silvio but we need to go into Silvio's mother's bedroom basically which is just here and we need to ring this bell and again this will attract Silvio and he will come into that room, freak out, and basically run for his plane. Now you think, see, I went one way, and then he started running that way, and I ran the other way, and he started running that way. I didn't know which way he was going to go. But he's now gone to his mother's bedroom, and I've got to get past this enforcer behind this door here. So I'm just going to bolt. I'm going to run all the way, and what we're going to do now is run all the way back to the ruins and get ourselves plugged up nicely behind the cannon. Now I'm running all the way and I'm in a big hurry to get there so I'm not sneaking or anything, I'm just charging past everyone but you do have plenty of time. So you can, you know, take your time, sneak around, avoid cameras. Don't take too long obviously. You will have a, a nice early warning when you need to be in place by the camera really so Silvio should be right now checking out his mother's room and starting to freak out a little bit and eventually he's gonna make a, a break for it and he's gonna run right through the mansion down into the bio labs and grab the seaplane that we usually use to escape from when we're down there and that's when we're going to shoot him out of the sky. So as you can see, it's just come up, target locked down. So Silvio is now going to make his way to the seaplane. Again, this takes a long time. He's got a fair way to go. And once he gets to the seaplane, we'll get a timer come up on the screen. I think it gives us about a minute 20 or a minute 30. So again, you know, we've still got plenty of time even then. Because a minute is quite a long time. It doesn't sound like it, but you ask any Formula One driver about, you know, what they could do in a minute. And many of them would say probably a lap round Austria. <laughs> or a lap round Spa, if they're quick enough. Now there's a minute is actually a very long time. If you sit there and count to 60, you'll be there for a while. Well, you'll be there for a minute, but it will feel a lot longer. So again, all we're doing, I'm watching the Crusoe through the instinct. He should be down in the lab now and very nearly at his plane. And then we'll get another audio warning from Diana and the countdown clock will appear on the screen. Uh, I can't remember if it is 1 minute 20 or 1 minute 30 I believe that was. And essentially we've still just got to stand here and wait until it gets down to about 17 seconds, roughly. 
So we're going to take charge of the cannon. Right, there are no crosshairs or anything to worry about here. So we, we have to line the shot up very well. But basically, just as the plane passes the lighthouse, it should line up nicely with the cannon and we'll take our shot. Now, what I recommend is before you take control of the cannon, I recommend saving, just in case you miss. Because I've, I've tried this a few times over the months and I, I get it right 50% of the time. And 50% of the time I miss and have to start again. So I recommend to anyone to save. You know, I don't think you can save while you're controlling the cannon. I would do it when you get back to the ruins. You may have to wait a little while, but it saves. It's better than doing the whole mission all over again. So we're at 17 seconds roughly. Here comes the plane. And just as it's getting past the lighthouse there, we're going to fire. And there you go. You just shot him down, clean out of the skies, send him down to Davy Jones' locker. And the aeroplane challenge will pop for you. So there you go. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.